Come to a comfortable seat in Sukhasana, crossing the legs, flexing the feet and resting the shins into the arches. Turn your palms open and bring your ring, the tips of your ring fingers and your thumbs to touch, extending the other fingers. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Reach the back of the crown of the head up towards the sky. Close your eyes and breathe. Start to notice your breath. Notice how deep or shallow you're breathing, how fast or slow, how smooth or unsmooth your breathing is. Start to breathe in and out through the nose if you're not already. Taking deeper breaths. Drawing the lower belly gently in and up. So instead of breathing in and out, in and out into the belly, think more in and up, drawing the breath up. Creating length and expansion as you inhale, outer body softens as you exhale. Start to think of an intention that you'd like to set for your practice today, maybe set for your week, for the next few days to come. Instead of thinking of a goal, try to think of a quality that you'd like to embody to feel more complete. Maybe it's happiness or patience, understanding, optimistic. Think of a word that resonates with you. And then start to feel that quality. Okay, so we can practice feeling this quality by thinking of all of the ways that make you feel happy or the situations in your past where you did feel patient or where you were optimistic or things you do feel optimistic about. So we're holding the earth mudra to help us feel and be more grounded, more rooted, supported, safe and secure. So then we can set this intention from a more stable place. A few more breaths here, really try to feel that quality. Circle your hands together in front of your heart into prayer, bringing your thumbs to your chest. Let's set that intention with one ohm. Take a deep breath in. Ah. And then you can bow your head, blink your eyes open, and lift your head. Now, if you're sitting on something, you can move that out of the way. Extend the legs out. We're focusing a little bit more on the lower half of the body, the parts of the body that carry us through our life um, to help us get a little bit more grounded. <clears throat> okay, so extend your legs out in front. The knees can be bent, especially if your hamstrings are a little tight, especially if it's the first stretch you've done of the day. <laughs> okay, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, reach out over the legs. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, big shoulder roll. Plant your hands, bend your knees. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, come down. Legs out, inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach out. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, big shoulder roll. Bend your knees. Inhale, lift. Knees are above the ankles. Exhale down. 
Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale out. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, shoulders, bend the knees. Fingertips point towards the heels. Inhale, lift. And exhale, come down. All right. Extend the right leg out and the left leg in. Again, you can bend the knee. Inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale, start to tip the pelvis and fold forward just a little bit. We just want to feel a nice, gentle stretch in the back of the leg, lengthening the front of the spine. This is Janu Shirsasana. And then rise up and we'll switch it out. You can bend the knee, hips are pretty much square towards the front. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, tilt the pelvis. You can drop your chin slightly or tuck your chin slightly to lengthen the neck. On your inhale, lengthen, exhale, tilt. Slowly make your way up and come on to your hands and knees. Bring your knees as wide as your mat. Your big toes can touch. Let's do some hip circles. So come around and back, getting into the thighs and the hip joints. One more in this direction. And go the other way. And come back to center, bring your knees back to center. Extend your right foot back with the toes on the ground, push into the hands, lengthening the back of the leg. And switch, keep breathing, don't forget. <laughs> if you're familiar with ujjayi breath, you can do that either way. Breathe in as far as you can go comfortably and then breathe out completely. And come back to the hands and knees. Curl the toes under, keep the heels parallel, so don't let the feet fall out. And then start to put some weight back onto the feet. Feeling a stretch in the toes, the bottoms of the feet, maybe some other places, <laughs> maybe in the calves. If that feels good, you can always come all the way back. But don't feel like you have to go here. This is called broken toe pose, so <laughs> let's not really break our toes. And come back to the hands and knees, uncurl the toes, very lightly tap the tops of the feet onto the ground. And bring your knees back a few inches, curl the toes under. On your inhale, lift the knees up, and on your exhale, push the hips back, let your head hang loose. Roll the shoulders away from each other and roll the forearms in. Start to walk the dog here, bending and straightening the alternate leg. Bring the feet as wide as the mat. Start to walk your hands back towards your feet. Turn your toes in slightly so the outside edges of the feet are parallel. Hands to the shins. On your inhale, lengthen the spine. Bend your knees. Grab your elbows. Exhale, fold. Let the head hang loose. And then bring your hands down. If this feels okay, lift your heels. Turn your heels in a little bit. Be very careful. Come down. As long as you don't have any knee issues or feet or ankle, this should be okay. And sit up. This is called malasana. Eventually, maybe the heels can touch, but it's okay if they don't. Just try to keep the spine lengthened. This is really good for grounding and for the root chakra. As well as strengthening the feet and ankles, which you might feel. And bring the hands down. Let's come back to that forward fold. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, hands to the waist, ground down into the feet. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. And breathe here. Inhale. 
Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. You can bend your knees, let the head hang loose. Inhale, halfway up, chest forward, shoulders back. Exhale, come to your squat. Lift the heels, be careful, be mindful. You could even start to push the knees away with the elbows lengthen the spine and breathe. And bring the hands down, let's do that one more time. Feet down, inhale halfway up. Exhale, hands to the waist, ground down. Inhale, rise up, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up, monkey pose. Exhale, walk to your downward facing dog. You can walk your feet back towards the midline so they're about two or three inches apart. Again, walk the dog so that we can open up the backs of the legs. Working the ankles and the toes a little bit, maybe you really stretch the toes as you're walking the dog. And slowly come forward to plank. You can bring your knees down and lower down really slow, elbows in. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, cobra, pushing into the knuckles. Exhale down, let's do that two more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come down. Come back to your intention or that quality you set in the beginning and then think about how you can be exhibiting that quality or embodying that quality in your practice. Okay, inhale, last one. Exhale, down. Now come on to your forearms and then reach your right hand back, grab your toes or your ankle. If you can grab your ankle, flex your foot. Keep your knees parallel and breathe here. Going for a stretch here in the front of the leg, the quad and the hip flexor. If you don't feel a stretch, you could bring your forehead down to the forearm, tuck the tailbone and reach that knee back. And switch. Let's take it to where you feel sensation. You don't have to be doing what I'm doing. And release. Curl your toes under, push up to the hands and knees and swing your feet around. All right, now have your left leg out and draw your right leg in. If you keep rounding your back, go ahead and grab your blanket, sit up on that. Tip the pelvis so that you're right on top of the sitting bones and we'll rock the baby. So keep the ankle flexed or locked so it's not turning in. Trying to draw the foot up and in as it feels good. Feeling a stretch or sensation in that hip joint. You could do some circles. Be careful with the knee. Go the other way. Lift the chest. And switch it out. So again, try not to round. Sit up tall. Grab the leg however you can. Maybe you could bring it here, but that makes me round my back, so I'm not going to go there. So that's up to you. Try to keep the spine nice and straight, lift the sternum. Keep breathing, maybe do some rolls, some circles with the knee. And pull the foot up and in. And then bring the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. You can pull the flesh away from the sitting bones, kind of pull the booty back. Again, you can feel free to sit up on your blanket. On your inhale, lengthen your spine, and on your exhale, tilt the pelvis forward, trying not to round. Just try to really lift the sternum and breathe here. The feet might start to open, kind of like a book. The outside edges of the feet might stay together, only if that feels good for you.
slowly rise up, extend the legs out, point and flex the feet. You can bend the knees, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, tip the pelvis. Now you can either sit on a blanket, another option you could do is put a blanket under the knees if your legs don't go straight, or if they do go straight and you're rounded. So you can put that under the knees and tip the pelvis, and you could even grab a chair and put the chair over your legs and put your forearms on the chair and your forehead down. Then you can stay in this pose for a while. It's very calming as long as you're comfortable. Trying to keep the front of the spine nice and lengthened, but don't have the spine rigid. You don't need to be you know, really squeezing your muscles. Try to keep the front of the spine lengthened, but soften into it. Try to find that balance. Now the exhales can start to get longer and longer. slowly come up. You can sit on your blanket. We'll do a short meditation here and breathing. So you can cross your legs, put your non-dominant leg in front, pull the flesh away from the sitting bones. Come back to our grounding mudra, our earth mudra, tips of the ring finger and thumb together. Extending the other finger, shoulders relax down, chin parallel to the ground. Coming back to your breath here, drawing the breath up, letting your ribs and chest expand in the front, the back, and the sides. And let your outer body soften. So let go of any tension from the forehead, the jaw, the temples. here. Come back to that quality and embody that quality. Think of the things that you need to, to help you feel that way. And deep breaths, complete exhales. At the bottom half of your body, your legs, your glutes, feel more and more secure, more stable, more grounded. Let the upper body feel lighter. Almost like the spine or the vertebrae are floating. Let the face soften, the forehead and the jaw. And breathe. And deepen your breath. Circle your hands together in front of your heart into prayer. Let's close our time together and show gratitude with one ohm. Now after this ohm, please feel free to set your timer and lay back for five or 10 more minutes for Shavasana. We'll close our time with one ohm. Take a deep breath in. Ah. Uh, 
and bow your head, bring your thumbs from your heart center up to your forehead. The energy within me acknowledges that energy within you, and I thank you all so much for letting me guide you through your practice today. Namaste.